Hello and welcome to our virtual celebration. My name is Alain Philippe Durand and it is my privilege to serve as the Dean of the College of Humanities. Because of the extraordinary circumstances in our world today, we have modified our winter convocation ceremony. But what has not changed is our commitment to honoring the tremendous achievements of our graduating students. I speak on behalf of the entire faculty in the College of Humanities today as we celebrate your hard work and academic accomplishments. We are profoundly inspired by the resiliency of our 2020 graduates who will be remembered and honored for years to come. This video will be available here on our YouTube channel after today's premiere for you to share with family and friends. Spanish subtitles can be accessed through the Spanish closed caption option below. Les saludamos y les damos la bienvenida a nuestra celebración virtual. Me llamo Alain Philippe Durand y tengo el privilegio de ser el decano de la Facultad de Humanidades. Debido a las circunstancias extraordinarias en nuestro mundo actual, hemos modificado nuestra ceremonia de graduación de invierno. Pero lo que no ha cambiado es nuestro compromiso de honrar los increíbles logros de nuestros estudiantes que se gradúan hoy. Ahora hablo en nombre de todos los profesores de la Facultad de Humanidades en este momento en que celebramos su arduo trabajo y sus logros académicos. Estamos profundamente esperados por su capacidad de recuperación en los últimos meses y esta promoción será recordada y honrada en los años venideros. Este video se publicará en nuestro canal de YouTube después del estreno de hoy para que lo compartan con familiares y amigos. También estará disponible una versión subtitulada en español. We have fantastic dedicated and hardworking faculty members, deans, department heads, school and program directors, advisors and staff in the College of Humanities. Today, I offer a heartfelt thank you to everyone for all they have done to educate and mentor our students. I would also like to acknowledge your family, friends and classmates. You deserve a warm round of applause from all of us for your support of your graduate. Cheer loudly for them from wherever you are watching this today so I can hear you the whole way to Tucson. As you join us from a distance today, share any photos of your Atom celebrations on our Facebook page so we too can experience your excitement. Today, through a procession later in this ceremony, we will be individually recognizing those students who have met the requirements for graduation. First, we will recognize our MA and PhD graduates and then proceed with the recognition of our Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of General Studies graduates. University of Arizona President Robert Robbins is the only one who actually confers degrees. We are here to acknowledge your accomplishment and honor each graduate by name and gift you with a medallion. You will receive your medallion and the ceremony program in the mail next month. Once campus circumstances permit, we welcome you to participate in a future convocation celebration. Now, I would like to introduce Vice Dean Kim Jones to present a special award. Thank you, Dean Duran. I'm pleased to introduce our outstanding senior awardee, Derek Forkob, who has a double major in Russian and Slavic studies and public management and policy. Professor Anastasia Gordienko taught Derek in two classes and nominated him for the award, praising his interest in public service and human rights, his strong sense of justice, and his continuous contribution to community, including work with the Arizona Global Health Project 
and volunteering with the local Ronald McDonald House and Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona, among others. In her nomination, Professor Gordienko wrote, Derek's dedication to academic success, intelligence, perseverance, powers of organization, big-heartedness, and his contribution to common good qualify him as an excellent recipient of this award. Now I would like to introduce Derek to accept his award and share a few words with us. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Duran and Dr. Jones of the College of Humanities for welcoming me today as the convocation speaker and as the recipient of the Outstanding Senior Award. Firstly, I believe we all must thank the faculty and staff for working so diligently through these tough times and continuing to bring a sense of meaning, understanding, and spirit to the world that is simply unique to the humanities. In particular, I'd like to personally thank Dr. Anastasia Gordienka for nominating me for the Outstanding Senior Award, as well as the entire Russian and Slavic Studies Department for always fostering a sense of community, excellence, and professionalism and genuine curiosity in each and every one of their students, all of which I believe will be vital to the future. Finally, I believe we should all thank the Information Technology Support Center for keeping the university afloat and connected. I transferred to the University of Arizona only two short years ago. Originally, I was a biochemistry student preparing to become a physician. And I know what you're thinking. Why am I here today? Why am I speaking to you? How did I get the College of Humanities award? Well, a wise man once said, life has a way of reminding you of big things through small incidents. And after the countless hours of volunteering with the sick, the elderly, and the forgotten, I realized the complexity and multifaceted approaches required to build a community one drop of sweat at a time. And as students of College of Humanities, we're not only taught languages, literature, and culture, but we've become genuine scholars of the triumphs and atrocities of human civilization. The humanities provides a world context that allows us to develop unique and critical skills for professions in government, industry, and academia. I've utilized the amazing opportunities here to address the more systemic failures in society, such as inequality, poverty, and hunger. All is to develop the foundations with a professional career addressing these issues. I've already had the privilege of serving as Deputy Elections Commissioner for Student Government, as Internal Affairs Director for the Arizona Global Health Project, a humanitarian organization, and as a soldier serving abroad with NATO forces. So today, like many of my peers, I feel like I found a home here and my calling working with the community as a civic leader, a cultural scholar, and a genuine communicator. I am very proud to be a member of this college and of this cohort. And although we're not able to share this moment in person today, it's nevertheless truly a grand achievement. I'd like to remind everyone that there are only a few moments in every person's life where our friends and our families and our whole communities will look upon each and every one of us with hope, pride, and dare I say, expectation to change the world around us. This is a unique class, I know, because I've made friends and families here. But we are setting sail into an ever-fracturing world with an obscure future. We, the class of 2020, are crossing the Rubicon. So I leave you with this. Performance under pressure equals greatness. And I genuinely believe that greatness awaits each and every one of you. Congratulations, everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and bear down. Congratulations, Derek. I would also like to recognize our December 2020 Graduating Humanities Ambassadors. College of Humanities student ambassadors represent the face of the college. This motivated group of interns embodies the qualities we wish to inspire in all of our students. Please join me in thanking these students for their service to the college.
Congratulations, Derek, and our graduating ambassadors. Today, we are celebrating your completion of your degrees. You will all be graduating with Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of General Studies, MA, or PhD degrees in a discipline that is central to the humanities. You could not have chosen a more important course of study. We are honoring today the impressive accomplishments of a group of multi-talented students. Let me share a few facts with you. The College of Humanities is celebrating the graduation of nearly 175 bachelors, masters, and doctoral students. A large percentage of our undergraduate students are double majors or dual degrees. And the students we are honoring today represent a wide array of disciplines offered at the University of Arizona. Accounting, Africana Studies, Anthropology, Applied Humanities, Arabic, Biology, Chemistry, Classics, Communication, Criminal Justice Studies, East Asian Studies, Economics, Elementary Education, English, French, General Studies, Geography, German Studies, Global Studies, Italian, Latin American Studies, Law, Physiology, Political Science, Psychological Science, Psychology, Public Health, Public Management and Policy, Russian, Spanish, and Studio Art. We are proud of such interdisciplinary studies because it demonstrates that no matter the career trajectory or life pursuit, at the heart of them all are the essential skills and insights provided by a humanities education. All of our students who represent a diversity of geographic and cultural backgrounds have the same thing in common. They love the humanities, of course, but most importantly, they do not settle for less. They work very hard. They work at being able to do whatever it is they are interested in and doing it anywhere in the world. Our students have traveled, studied, conducted research, and worked in almost all of areas of the globe. And this graduating class is no exception. As they pursue their career path or graduate studies, this group of students undoubtedly will face new obstacles. But I have no doubt that they have the essential skills needed to adapt to whatever challenges lie ahead. After all, they have already been put to the test. Thanks to our world-class faculty, these graduates are ready to go straight to the goal. From the moment they step on the job market, their selected graduate program, or wherever they go, their motivation will be at the highest. They will never give up, no matter what happens, no matter what. Graduates, you have all chosen a fine beginning and you have succeeded by earning the bachelor's, MA, or PhD degree. I know that it will serve you very well in your pursuit of a profession, of a calling, and of a life that matters to yourself and to the world. Graduates, the rigorous and very difficult program of study you just accomplished, this rigorous training you have received in the College of Humanities, gives you the tools to handle it out there, to make your mark, and to have an exciting career, whatever you decide to do. When difficulties arise, and they will, do not step to the side. Put your helmet on, analyze the situation, be humble and respectful, keep your head up, and never let go. Never give up. Ne lâche rien, as we say in French. The skills for which you receive training in the College of Humanities are the most sought after in the new global economy. They have prepared you to address the grand challenges of a rapidly changing world. Indeed, you have become experts in intercultural competence and in adapting quickly to unfamiliar environments. You are trained in negotiating difficult tasks with creativity and an acute sense of initiative. You think critically. You know how to communicate effectively with people from diverse backgrounds. You are capable of engaging with the local and international communities. You are leaders, team players, and problem solvers. You can teach and mentor others. 
You can conduct research projects. You can write. Please keep in touch with us in the future, and please fill out our new alumni form, and we hope that you will accept our invitation to publish your profile on our alumni websites and social media, and that once in a while you will send us updates about your fabulous lives. You will always be welcome at the College of Humanities. And like your predecessors, you now become mentors, potential advisors, even models to follow for our current majors and graduate students. We count on you, including for helping us in the future, once you become rich and famous, to create and to contribute to scholarship funds that will help the College of Humanities students and faculty. Please accept my heartfelt congratulations on your choice of field and on your fine accomplishments. We all wish you well as you move forward from today, the beginning celebration of your commencement. Thank you again and good luck to you. I welcome back Vice Dean Jones to start our slide procession. As we continue with our ceremony, we will first recognize our PhD and MA recipients. Our faculty are honored every year to hood these esteemed students as a mark of their significant academic achievements. The academic hood symbolizes acceptance into the community of scholars. Despite our inability to conduct a formal hooding here for each graduate today, please know that even from afar, many hands are raised to symbolically hood you today. Congratulations. Now we will begin with the recognition of our Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of General Studies graduates. From screens and desktops around the world, there's a big audience cheering for you today.
Congratulations. Thank you, Kim, and thank you all for joining us virtually today. Adaptability is a hallmark of humanity scholars, and we are confident that our graduates are well prepared to press forward during this time of uncertainty. The perspectives offered through studying the humanities are more necessary than ever, giving context to our ever-changing world. I am proud to celebrate the College of Humanities class of December 2020. Congratulations! Congratulations, College of Humanities class of 2020. Congratulations, College of Humanities class of 2020. Congratulations, College of Humanities class of 2020. Felicitations. Cohorts Collegi Humanitatum Ani Bis Milesimi Bikesimi Bovis Gratulamu. Congratulations, College of Humanities Class of 2020. Bear down, Wild Kids for Life. Congratulations, College of Humanities Class of 2020. Felicidades for Benz, class of 2020. Congratulations, College of Humanities, class of 2020. Enhorabuena, class of 2020, College of Humanities. Congratulations, College of Humanities, class of 2020. Congratulations, College of Humanities, class of 2020. Bear down. Congratulations, Fall 2020 graduates. You did it. See how this is shocked. Congratulations, College of Humanities, Class of 2020. Congratulations, College of Humanities, Class of 2020.